We're the parents of a wonderful young lady by the name of Lorena Garcia. Many of you know who she is. I'm a father. She's a mom. I'm here today because of my daughter, Lorena. Uh, she's a lesbian. Uh, she's smart, talented, kind, and funny. She's the kind of person you'd do anything for. But as hard as we try, we can't change the world we live in. Uh, it's a world that denies committed gay and lesbian couples the critical legal protections. They need to take care of each other. Protections that my other children were given automatically when they got married. Protections that my wife and I have had for 30 years. Protections that Lorena has denied. As a parent, as parents, it breaks our hearts to know that one of our children is treated differently than the others. If you cannot think of any other reason to support civil unions, think of Lorena. And think of her father and her mother who worries about her future every day because the laws of this state leave her vulnerable. My name is Faye Wilson Tate, and I work at CH2M Hill, an engineering and construction company engaging in global project delivery. About 15 years ago, CH2M Hill made the important decision to offer domestic partner benefits to our employees. This decision not only improved the environment in our office by honoring the committed relationships of our gay and lesbian employees, but also helped us attract employees who consider domestic partnership benefits a necessity. And as a result, we've seen a positive impact on employee morale and the bottom line. And so attracting, developing, engaging, and retaining valuable talent is key to our success. In the congregation I serve, there are dozens of fine and faithful families, loving families struggling because they are not allowed the same rights that other families take for granted. As a person of faith, I believe civil unions move us just a little bit closer to the kind of world that I believe God is calling us to work toward. This community of faith supports civil unions because we believe passionately that God is deeply concerned with the quality and the character of our hearts and souls not so much with the relative gender of the person we love. As a person of faith, I support civil unions in the spirit of religious freedom. Pastors, priests, rabbis, imams, and other religious officials should be able to perform civil unions as their faith and as their conscience allow. Or not, also as their conscience and their faith allow. Creating civil unions increases and enhances religious freedom and forces no one to go against their faith. I believe people who are gay and lesbian are an integral part of natural and divine creation. And I believe that a family is best defined not by gender, but by love and by commitment. Katina and I have been together for seven years. Like many couples, we've committed our lives to one another and are building a home together. But one thing has always been missing. As same-sex couples, we are not afforded the critical legal protections we need to take care of and be responsible for one another. Now, as an attorney, I know that there are steps Leslie and I can take to try to protect our relationship, such as wills, powers of attorney, other contracts. But these pieces of paper can still be ignored and challenged. And in some cases, a challenge is all that takes. In an emergency, even a moment's challenge over paperwork that says whether or not Leslie can ride with me in an ambulance or make decisions for me in the hospital could be the difference between life and death. For Leslie and me to feel truly secure in our relationship, we need the critical legal, legal protections that civil unions provide. Not just for our relationship now, but for our future, especially for our future. As we all age, our worries and concerns change. Imagine spending your life with someone and then facing the reality that you may not be able to spend your final years or months together in the same nursing home. That's what our future could look like without civil unions.